This is the tale of the lonely Beatrice Baum. She lived in an ordinary sort of town, on an ordinary sort of street. Yet, she was anything but ordinary. For, beyond the unruly bamboo, and heaps of junk that Beatrice never got around to turning into sculpture, was a woman with something powerful on her hands. Before her husband passed away, Beatrice made him a promise to never use his magic megaphone. Miguel used his megaphone as means of restoring balance to their community. He devoted his life to helping others, a quality Beatrice had always admired. And although she had little understanding of its power, she no longer wished to be lonely. So she spoke into the megaphone. And to Beatrice's delight, the megaphone filled the room with cats. She found their company simply lovely. But she sometimes thought they made it difficult for her to get anything done. And this upset Beatrice. She thought, enough is enough. So she spoke into the megaphone. <laughs> to Beatrice's delight, the megaphone filled the room with even more cats, and it eased her frustration. She found their company simply lovely. But... She sometimes thought they made it difficult for her to get anything done. And this upset Beatrice. She thought, enough is enough. So she spoke into the megaphone. <laughs> to Beatrice's dismay, the megaphone filled the room with far too many cats and it didn't ease her frustration. She found their company simply troubling. But the megaphone, sensing her deep distress, decided that what Beatrice really needed was... One giant cat. And this upset Beatrice to no end. She thought, enough is enough. So she spoke clearly into the megaphone. <laughs> to Beatrice's amazement, the megaphone filled her hand with a broom a very powerful broom. And she swept and swept and swept the giant cat all through her house until it had nowhere else to run. After giving the giant cat a few good whacks with her broom, it turned into one regular sized cat. And Beatrice found his company simply lovely. Yet, as she looked around the room, she realized that the two of them had quite a lot of work to do. So, first they cleaned the house. Next, they tidied up the heaps of junk that Beatrice never got around to turning into sculpture. And then they tended to the unruly bamboo. As Beatrice and her new companion gazed upon the home, she realized that she didn't feel quite so lonely after all. 